do you? Yeah. Hello, baby. Is this thing on? Okay. Just talking to here. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, in this here video, uh, you're gonna be, uh, uh, yeah, mm. You want me to read this? It's kind of stupid. Okay, I'll go ahead. Uh, how about I just wing it? I don't know. Let's try it. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna give you the scoop, the skinny, the inside info, uh, rundown of sorts, uh, the place that this dude here calls home. Uh, it's called the uh, one and only. See, it's stupid. I ain't gonna read this. It's dumb. It's a, it's a procrastination station, whatever the hell that is. Uh, so without further ado, ado, further delay, <laughs> uh, uh, we're gonna get into this thing here. Uh, well, let's just get to it. Hello, and welcome to Procrastination Station, my home and YouTube channel. So this is a uh, 23 foot long uh, Airstream Globetrotter. It's a front bed twin. Uh, the twin beds uh, I got for several different reasons. Um, main reason is there's three different storage compartments on the unit. One on either side. Uh, you can see it's full of stuff. And then one big one in the front. Uh, on the queen, it's different. There's only one on one side and then you lift the bed up to get your uh, access to other storage. I like the uh, outside accessible storage uh, for lots of different reasons. I updated the solar system batteries um, from the get-go. I ordered the uh, unit with the solar package so that it had the wiring and pretty much all the infrastructure already equipped so that all I had to do was pretty much upgrade what I needed to upgrade keeping in mind uh, don't go overboard with the solar on the roof because the wire gauge is only such that it'll handle a certain amount of wattage so it came with a 90 watt solar panel I added three more 90 watt solar panels for a total of 360 watts uh, the first thing I did was um, replace the AGM batteries with lithium batteries um, I had effectively 100 watts or 100 kilowatt hours of battery usage total um, out of 240 actual wattage it's the way the batteries work you can only use about 50 percent capacity with the lithium you can use 100 percent if you want to i've got it dialed in with my system to be, to only be able to go down to 10 percent and charge up to 80 percent full max but i can charge it more than that if i need to so the overall increase was about fourfold. Um, rated, I have 560 amp hours of service, but I'm only getting about 400 because of the 10% top and bottom uh, of safety. This baby has two large pain tanks. Right there, easily accessible. The selector switch to be able to select between left tank and right tank or both or off. Uh, it has a nice cover, keeps it uh, looking pretty. There's absolutely no way to tell how much uh, propane is in the tanks other than running out of gas and knowing that they're empty. You can lift them up and check them every once in a while to see how full they are, but you really don't know. Moving around to the street side of the trailer uh, is the other storage unit here that uh, I was talking about. Also, it's the business side of the trailer. You've got your hookups for your power. Uh, you got your uh, water inlet here. It's cable, if you use cable or satellite, I don't use that. Uh, then you got your water, fresh water hookup. And you got your tank fill here. This is the furnace outlet. I've become very familiar with what's behind here, and I'll explain that later. This is obviously an outdoor shower. It's kind of convenient. 
pretty cool. I haven't used it in the shower before yet. Um, this is the business end of the uh, toilet drain hookup. Everybody knows how that kind of works. Right around the back of the trailer, there's um, outside storage compartment that uh, allows you to put other stuff. It's also where the tool is for the awning. And, uh, I'll show you that here in a little bit. Uh, that's uh, my wrench for putting on the uh, chocks for the wheels so you don't go rolling away. I almost had that happen. You know, you learn as you go. So here on the curb side, we've got the infamous or famous door that uh, dealer always talks about, people online rave about, some people complain about. I've got my own complaints about it, and we'll go into that a little bit later. Um, on this side, you got two big windows. Really great, you'll see from inside. This is the uh, output for the hot water on-demand heater. Um, some other connections for power outlet. And that's the control for the uh, outriggers for stabilization. And that's the other storage I showed you. And of course, the portal window. I really like these things, these are cool. Only got three of them on the trailer, but hey, three's better than nothing. So let's, uh, let's take a look inside. So this is the inside. This is the galley, aka kitchen. That's the bathroom. We'll get in there in a minute. And that's a little board that the uh, white boarder gave me for putting down, writing stuff, jam, jotting, whatever. Uh, grocery list. And coat hanger, dog leash, dog stuff. Key stuff. So let's uh, do a little walkthrough. And tight quarters as you can see. And uh, here in the kitchen, the galley, we got uh, a trash can, sorted storage for kitchen items. And then we got our utility drawer for silverware and a whole bunch of other stuff because there's only a few drawers, two, maybe three. And there's not a lot of room for knickknacks. There's no junk drawer, so to speak. Uh, double portal window. Really like that. And that's the fancy faucet. And it's uh, chrome. It's got the whole new hickey thingy. Nice little faucet thing. Giant sink. Uh, quite cavernous, if you will. Uh, sort of coffee cups, coolers, and we have really thermos. And there's my coffee pot. I was using the uh, coffee pot from uh, from home that I had, but it started leaking. Uh, it doesn't work very well, I guess. It got old. It was like 10 years old anyway. Here's the microwave I bought. Um, underneath the microwave is the uh, oven. Excuse me. And uh, there's the nice little oven. And there's the gas. I haven't used it yet. Not much of a baker or candlestick maker. But over the uh, galley is the uh, overhead storage. I use it for storage. Coffee, I got some food, got some other items in there. Pasta, it's pretty convenient. I like the doors, nice and curved. And the, uh, nice Italian marine wood. Not really organized, never been an organized type of person. Um, there's my spice rack, got all good stuff. And the Overland cookbook, haven't cooked anything out of there yet. Uh, but I intend to. It looks like a lot of fun, a lot of good eats. And on this side, we got the dinette, aka dinette. There's the big windows I was telling you about outside. Above those, we got more storage. This one's pretty much uh, entertainment center. It's my Fuse, Fusion, excuse me, uh, stereo. It's basically a marine type 
radio. It's networkable, it's quite robust, and the manual for that is actually bigger than the manual for the refrigerator, the furnace, and all the other utilities in the whole trailer combined. Um, here's where I keep my DVD collection. There's a Blu-ray player. Coming over to the side, we got other storage, dog treats, dog stuff, more utility crap. This is uh, the dinettes uh, capable of uh, table collapses down and uh, you can put a cushion in here which I don't have in the trailer but uh, this makes out into a bed. We claim two people can sleep here. You have to be two small people or uh, kids. Uh, more than likely one person and or one kid because I don't know unless they're toddlers I don't see two kids sleeping in this comfortably. Um, here's the furnace controls, our air conditioner and all that stuff. I had the uh, clock with the temperature and all that good stuff outside. Temperature probe, very handy. Uh, there's controls for uh, the inverter charger. Uh, still learning how to use that. There's a uh, good old uh, rose bald egg from mom. And there's another clock. Getting more clock and stuff. And here's the quite large refrigerator freezer. It uh, holds quite a bit. But, uh, again, organization is not my strong suit. Uh, got a lot of bottled water because the water here at the RV park kind of tastes really funny. But I'll get into that in another maybe. And then there's the freezer. That's a little breakfast stuff. Water fish sticks, this chicken. I got a uh, magnetic eraser board calendar that I can update and keep track of certain things. Um, all that good stuff. And, uh, let's see. The other uh, feature of the Globetrotter is the AC unit as all the ducts inside the, the ceiling, in between the ceiling and the roof. Um, I don't know how loud this is. When the air conditioner is running Full tilt, try to keep it cool and dehumidify it. It's really humid down here in Texas. Um, the uh, lights, all the lights in the trailer, inside and out, are all LED lights, which basically um, help keep the power consumption down to quite minimal. Um, obviously, you don't want to burn them all, all the time, you don't need to, but uh, they're, they're, they're nice. I like the controls for them. Controls. For the main cabin, right over here on the wall, you got dimmer, you got these controls for inside outside stuff, you got the awning light, that's the awning control for the uh, Zipti uh, powered awning, obviously the battery disconnect. Um, let's see, going back here to Desmo, what up buddy Desmo, how you doing buddy? Yeah. This is the bed room, uh, the twin beds, obviously that's Desmo's side. There's a big bay window. Nice, good, to, good views, good vantage points. Uh, very, very panoramic. And there's my, my TV upgraded. Currently got it on the uh, NASA space flight YouTube channel. Watching them build uh, the new SpaceX crane they just delivered. These um, these big girders. I was uh, headed out to the starbase yesterday morning and I actually followed the truck down the road that was carrying those two along with these uh, these ballast weights and I just watched they just put these ballast weights on and it looked they're moving more ballast weights yeah great channel to watch keep updated on on the good old YouTube or uh, SpaceX progress and all that good stuff uh, here's the controls for the, the lights in the bedroom and I'll show you they're dimmed and you can brighten them up Cool. Uh, I upgraded and added a uh, wireless cellular router uh, receiver. It uh, has the capability of four separate uh, cellular companies or SIM cards, if you will. Uh, currently, I just have the AT&T. I could go with Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon all at the same time, and it would pick basically the strongest signal. That would get kind of pricey. I don't need that kind of guaranteed service. I've got Verizon on my phone, 
which down here in South Texas kind of sucks, but anyway, at and is working good. There's my Roku box. Um, piece of wood there was for a shelf that I had put in. Uh, didn't want to screw anything to the walls, kind of, kind of cheap. Trying to keep from um, permanently mounting anything in the trailer if such time down the road that I want to change it, sell it, get something smaller, get something bigger, uh, something different. Uh, Airstreams hold their value and I really don't want to modify or change much uh, in that regard. So sticking stuff up there and it didn't stay. So I gotta figure out something different. Back here in the bedroom area we have uh, storage on this side which is just a small short closet for shirts or whatever you want. Uh, it's got the coat hanger with the ripples things in it. Keep the hangers from sliding back and forth. It works okay. It's got a nice light to give you a little light and all that good stuff. But eh. Storage on this side. Got uh, kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit bigger. It's got almost all floor to ceiling. Um, and I've got more stuff in there, my vacuum parts, shirts, all my Aloha Hawaiian shirts, and some dog stuff, good, good stuff there. And also stored above the refrigerator. We really don't have a clue what they put in there because it's so shallow, but I have things in there. There's storage underneath each of the seats in the dinette area that uh, are accessible both underneath the cushion and here. Uh, they're kind of a pain in the butt to open, but you get the picture, they hold stuff. Good, good deal. And then of course underneath the beds, you've got the internal storage that's accessible. Yeah, that's where you keep the other clothes and all that good, good jazz. Both sides have a uh, decent amount of uh, storage area. I'm gonna keep that organized. Got a lot more clothes than I would ever wear, but I like to have a variety. And this side's kind of the same. Got that with the hoes and whatnots. Of course, the smaller as you get because you got other stuff that goes under the, the hot water heater is just behind there. So it kind of limits the space of the size of this one, along with this last one. And that's where I keep my shoes. So it's all working out. It's all, all is what it is. Of course, the, the nightstand storage. Remotes and cables and other crap. Uh, there's the old bear my mom made, along with uh, Aunt Janice. And there's the replica of Desmo. Kind of funny. Got him when I got the bed set, a bedroom set up that now belongs to Mark and Joanne. So that's the, uh, the gist of the whole trailer. It's kind of small, but you know what? It does what it needs to do. It's uh, quite cozy. Let's go back to the bathroom.